Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix connection error that is connection time out or if you're receiving this error that is connection error and counted an error while matchmaking. So if you're receiving this error, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now, the first step is to, first of all, check for any outage. So you can go to this Steam website. The link is provided in the video description. Over here, uh, check the server update. If there is any kind of outage, uh, you will come to know over here. Or you can even go to fellowship website and you can check. So if there is any outage, then in that case, you have to wait. If there is no outage, the first step is to disconnect and reconnect the Wi-Fi. So simply disconnect and then reconnect and then relaunch the game and then check. If that does not work, the next step is to switch to different network. So if you have any other network available, you can switch to different network. Switch to different network and then you can check. You can even use phone hotspot. Now turn on the data on the phone and then turn on the personal hotspot. Now you can connect to your phone network. So search for your phone network over here. Connect to your phone network and then you can check. Now the next step is to perform power cycle. To perform power cycle, first of all, shut down your computer. Unplug the power cable from the computer. Turn off Wi-Fi router. Wait for a few seconds and then restart Wi-Fi router. Connect the power cable back to the computer and then restart your computer and then you can check. Still not working, try Google DNS server. Now for this type in control panel in Windows search box, click on control panel. Go to network and internet, go to network and sharing center and then click on your internet over here and then go to properties and then select internet protocol version 4 TCP IPv4 and then select properties. Select use the following DNS server addresses and for preferred DNS server type in 8888 and for alternate DNS server type in 8844 and then put a check on validate settings upon exit and then click on OK close this and then once this is done now you have to relaunch the game and then check still not working the next step is to you can try this try this server now for this you can again uh, click on your internet over here and then properties select internet protocol version 4 ipv4 properties and then again this time for preferred dns server type in 1 1 1 1 and then for alternate you can type in 1 0 0 1 and then again validate settings upon exit click on ok close this and then close this and then relaunch the game and then check still not working then uncheck ipv6 check it once done playing the game now for this again you can click on your internet over here properties and uncheck the box that is internet protocol version 6 IC, tcp IC, ipv6 if this is checked you can uncheck it click on ok and then launch the game and once you are done playing the game once done you can put a check on ipv6 once again now still not working go to properties once again and we will you can select internet protocol version 4 icp ipv4 properties and you can just go to default that is select automatic over here click on ok close and you can follow the next step now the next step is to run the game as an administrator now for this you can go to the game installation folder and then over here you can see fellowship launcher you can make a double click launch the game from here and then check if that does not work you can install this arc installs arc installer run as administrator click on yes to allow and then click on ok if not installed it will install in my case it is already installed and if this is already installed you can open windows settings go to apps and then you can go to 
arc uh, install apps or apps and features and then find arc over here and you can uninstall it uninstall uninstall click on yes and then are you sure you want to complete it? yes and then do you want do you also want to remove the games that arc has downloaded no and let the uninstall complete once the uninstall is complete now launch the game when you launch the game during the launch it will install arc installer it will install the arc here you can click on yes to allow and it will install it this may take some time here you can see check in for update and let the installation complete once the installation is complete launch the game and then check still not working in that case go to the game installation folder and then open fellowship folder binaries win64 and here you can see the game exe file make a right click and then click on run as administrator and then you can launch the game and then you can check now still not working the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program and let me close this now if you're using windows security open windows settings go to privacy and security or windows security click on virus and threat protection windows security virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow click on add an allowed app click on browse all apps go to the game installation folder wherever the game is installed open the game folder select all the exe file even the arc installer browse all apps select this fellowship exe file open browse all apps you can select this fellowship launcher open browse all apps and then open this fellowship binaries win64 select this exe file click on open now type in control panel in windows search box click on control panel system and security windows defender firewall allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall change settings allow another app click on browse again go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select all the exe file one by one in my case i've already added allow another app once again browse select this fellowship open and then click on add launch the game and then check allow another app once again select this fellowship launcher open click on add again launch the game browse and then open this fellowship binaries main 64 select this exe file click on open click on add in my case i have already added all the game to the firewall once you add the game to the firewall all the exe file now you can relaunch the game and then check do the same thing if you have any third party antivirus like a vast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you're using allow all the four exe file and then relaunch the game next step is to run this command so type in cmd in windows search box make a right click on command prompt app make sure that you run command prompt as an administrator only click on yes to allow copy all these commands one by one paste it over here hit sorry uh, we have to copy the complete command all the commands are provided in the video description and then copy the second command paste it hit the enter key so run all the commands one by one Now once done, restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. If you're using VPN, you can turn off the VPN and then check. You can even close the VPN and then check. For many users, using the VPN has also worked, so you can try that. If that does not work, you can turn off and close the VPN. Next step is to use Ethernet connection. So if your computer has an Ethernet port and if you have an Ethernet cable, you can use the wired connection and then you can check. Next step is to make sure date, time, time zone, and reason is correct on your computer. So at the bottom right here, you can see the date and time. Make a right click on date and time. Click on adjust date and time. And make sure set time zone automatically. If this is off, turn it on. 
set time automatically if this is off turn it on and then click on sync now sync now is important click on sync now if you receive any errors in red color click on sync now multiple times once you see a tick over here go back to time in language language in region and make sure your country is selected over here and then relaunch the game next step is to before you verify update your windows so check for update update your windows and then restart computer and then check still not working verify the game files make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files once the verification is done launch the game and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix this connection error with the game so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel